everybody. Welcome to Live at 4. Mark is off today. Eric Franke is filling in. He Good. drew the straw, sh uh, short straw. And, and on top of it, rain washes out concerts on the square. Yeah, I was supposed to be down on the Capitol Square today well, for the concert. I'm glad you're here because I have no idea how to do this show. <laughs> well, it got postponed <laughs> until tomorrow, right. so it'll be great tomorrow. Nobody wants to sit on a wet No, it, like and it was it. coming down earlier, so it yeah. would have been a mess down there, so probably a good idea. Uh, Eric and I want to let you know we're going to be taking plant calls for Lisa Briggs this hour, so be thinking about your questions. We'll let you know when it's time to call in. Here's what's topping our headlines on this Wednesday. Former Vice President Mike Pence visits Wisconsin, calling Rebecca Clayfish a proven conservative as she faces an opponent endorsed by Donald Trump. President Biden announced an executive order on abortion access. It comes on the heels of one of the first real tests on abortion access in the hands of voters. And a Wisconsin man is on his way to help people clean up after floodwaters devastate parts of Kentucky. Let's take a look outside today. Wow, it was just a soaker all afternoon. And now it's sunny here on the west side of Madison. Nice weather, though, coming our way back tomorrow. As we mentioned, concerts on the square will return tomorrow. Let's go out to the uh, patio where Julian's standing by. He was another one that was supposed to be downtown <laughs> at the concerts, but he's on the backyard where it's looking pretty nice right now, Julian. That's right. So we are starting to get a glimpse of some at least hope for the rest of our evening as sunshine has returned, but it still feels very sticky outside. The humidity and dew points themselves make you feel like you're wearing an extra layer of clothing. Now, as we take a look at how we stacked up for today, so far we've seen our high around 80 degrees. We could see a degree or two start to increase as we get into the later part of our evening, especially as we are looking at more sunshine starting to roll in for us. Normally around 81 degrees this time of year, but temperatures currently we're at 78 here in Madison. Our friends a bit more towards the west are looking into the lower 80s with 80 degrees into Platteville and even warmer for our friends into the north as for La Crosse was over towards around 92 degrees. So we take a closer look at what we're seeing for Dane County. We're into the 70s. Areas just towards Middleton around 81 degrees for us. That's where we're seeing a bit of our hot spot as we're going into the rest of our evening. Dew points, however, as I mentioned, it's swimmable weather as of right now. We're looking at the low 70s here in Madison, but over towards Platteville around 80 degree dew points as well. So as we take a look, we do have a flood advisory in effect for Dodge and Ozaki, Washington counties until 4.15 uh, p.m. this evening. And we are still watching for potential development of some showers and storms in the back end, which is just outside of Crawford County as of right now. And as we take a look at what we're seeing for our traffic heading into the interstates, all green as of right now towards the Beltline, also looking pretty smooth. We'll take a look at what else is coming up in a few moments because we do have an alert Day coming up for this weekend. We'll talk more about that in detail in just a few moments. Until uh, then, back to you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. The former vice president was in Wisconsin today, flanked by the former governor and former lieutenant governor. All three are out of office. They're fighting to get Rebecca Clayfish back in. Now, this is also as Donald Trump weighs in on the race for governor, endorsing Tim Michaels, and he will have that rally on Friday, endorsing candidates up and down the ballot in Wisconsin, wading through all of that political <laughs> news today. Today is reporter Will Keneally, who was at today's Pence events over in Pewaukee. Will? That's right, Eric. So the national attention on the gubernatorial, gubernatorial primary was hard to miss today, but there was a focus on how all that national fight for the midterm impacts us here in Wisconsin. Walker introduced Pence first as the former governor of Indiana, and the former VP relied on his Midwestern credentials to endorse Clayfish, saying that she represents conservative heartland values. He said that her winning the governor's race is one step on the plan to take the country back for those values. She's already a, a, a national leader in this party, uh, and she's going to give voice to the, the concerns, the heartland concerns of people in Wisconsin into national issues, and, and I know she's going to help lead us back uh, to a secure border and to confronting this wave. Uh, of illegal immigration. And and the, the sheriff's so today's round table comes just two days ahead of a Trump rally scheduled for Waukesha this Friday. Trump has endorsed Tim Michaels in the Republican primary, putting him at odds with his former VP. So next Tuesday's race will be partially a test of Trump's influence in Wisconsin politics. Last night, a Trump-backed candidate won the Secretary of State race in Arizona, but the former president's endorsement record has been a mixed bag so far this primary season. 
Will, thank you. The fall partisan primary, by the way, is next Tuesday, August 9th. There are several local and statewide contests on the ballot that will decide who will advance to the general election in November. Election officials in Madison say some polling places have changed since the last election in April, so they're urging you to double check your polling location if you're planning to vote in person on Tuesday. Visit channel3000.com to see a map of all polling locations in Madison. The website also has tools to find your voting address if you don't live near Madison. And Kansas is just one of five states that held primary contests yesterday, and some of the GOP candidates backed by former President Trump are celebrating with votes still being counted in Arizona's Republican gubernatorial primary. Karen Taylor Robson is claiming victory. Robson neck and neck with the opponent Carrie Lake. The winner uh, will face off against Democratic nominee Katie Hobbs. In Arizona Senate race, Democrat Mark Kelly set to face off against Trump-backed venture capitalist Blake Masters. And yet another Trump-backed candidate, Mark Fincham, won the GOP race for Secretary of State. He's an election denier and has been one of the loudest voices promoting the former president's unsubstantiated claims that the election was rigged. Now, if he wins in November, he would oversee the elections in the state of Arizona. And then there's the U.S. Senate race in Missouri. I am honored to be your nominee for the United States Senate. <laughs> Eric Schmidt defeated uh, Vicki Hartzler and Eric Greitens, the controversial former governor of Missouri, who is being accused of glorifying political violence. And in Michigan, Tudor Dixon won the GOP nomination for governor. She believes the 2020 election was stolen and will face off against Democratic incumbent Gretchen Whitmer, who is seeking a second term. Today, President Biden took executive action aimed at protecting abortion rights for the second time since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. Well, that ruling triggered restrictions and near ban on the procedure in at least a dozen states. Natalie Brand has more from Capitol Hill. During the first meeting of the White House Task Force on Reproductive Health Care, President Biden touted a new executive order to support patients traveling out of state for care. I commit to the American people that we're doing everything in our power to safeguard access to health care, including the right to choose that women had under Roe v. Wade. The executive order directs the Secretary of Health and Human Services to consider action to advance access to reproductive health care services, including through Medicaid, improve research on maternal health outcomes, and ensure health providers comply with federal law, which could include technical assistance for doctors who may be confused in the wake of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade as they navigate new state restrictions. The president has again urged Congress to codify Roe v. Wade into federal law, pointing to Tuesday's vote in Kansas as an example of public sentiment towards abortion rights. Crowds at this Kansas election night party erupted into cheers after learning voters had rejected a measure to remove abortion rights from the state's constitution. This is a clear indication of where uh, voters in Kansas are on this issue. The group Kansans for Constitutional Freedom claimed victory in the historically red state during the first real test of abortion rights on the ballot since Roe was overturned. Well, I wouldn't have voted that way if I were a Kansas voter. My guess is this won't be the last vote they take on it. A similar measure to the one voted down in Kansas is on the ballot in Kentucky, while adding abortion protections to the state constitution are on the ballot in Vermont and California. Natalie Brent, CBS News, Capitol Hill. This November, voters in Montana will weigh in on a proposed state law that would require medical care for infants born alive after an attempted abortion, induced labor, or other methods. There are also efforts underway in Michigan to protect abortion rights. Meanwhile, the U.S. Justice Department has filed a lawsuit challenging Idaho's near total ban on abortion. That state's Republican governor calls the case, quote, federal meddling. The impact of the inflation the Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 is making its way through Congress now. It makes health insurance and prescription drugs more affordable and invests in addressing climate change as well. It was the topic of a community meeting at the Madison Labor Temple today. State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski, well, former U.S. Senate everyone, candidate, says the bill uh, could bring down costs by making health care and prescription drugs more affordable. She also addressed the climate and energy provisions in that bill. And so we are the richest country in the world. We as taxpayers pay for the development of these prescription drugs. But then on the back end, we, love, we allow pharmaceutical companies to price gouge. It's about time that Medicare is finally allowed to negotiate these prices. The group estimated that allowing Medicare to negotiate could save up to $288 billion total.
A new perspective on the devastating flooding in parts of the country last week. Take a look at this NASA image. It's a satellite map showing the areas that got more than eight inches of rain. You can see them in dark red. For St. Louis and eastern Kentucky, all of that rain caused historic flooding. Scientists at NASA say once rare events are becoming more likely now as the Earth's atmosphere warms and can hold more moisture. Scott Adler, a Red Cross volunteer, is going down to Kentucky to do damage assessment. We're seeing the damage up close and personal. You see it on the news, in the media, and yes, it looks devastating, but imagine looking at it with your own eyes and everything is just feet from you. Already heavily damaged roads and bridges have made certain communities <coughs> excuse me, near, nearly impossible to get to. The state's governor says accounting for everyone will likely take weeks, meaning the death toll already at 37 is expected to rise. And Sorry. That's all right. I just we'll we'll, we'll my let mint. you ca catch your breath. <laughs> Coming up next on Live at 4, Nina Kamek has been tracking the developments in Ukraine closely this year. The retired UW Madison law professor tells us about her new book about her childhood in Poland. It's called Like a Swan. We'll talk to Nina when Live at 4 continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at 4. Outlets at the Dells in the center of Water Park Heaven with 60 of the world's biggest brands. We thrill the trendsetters and all who love a smoke and hot discount. Get the first day look they want and save up to 70% off everything for back to school. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. Do you struggle to open or close your windows? Are they drafty or leaky? Are you constantly adjusting your thermostat only to have your energy bill skyrocket? If you're nodding your head yes, Renewal by Anderson is your best solution. They custom build and install weather tight replacement windows and back them with a generous, fully transferable limited warranty. Call now to schedule your free design consultation. Plus, take advantage of this limited time offer with incredible savings and attractive financing. Don't miss out. Call Renewal by Anderson today. A good night's sleep starts on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Get a Beautyrest Black or Harmony Lux mattress and get up to a $300Hotels.com reward card. The new Beautyrest Black is redesigned and more luxurious and comfortable than ever. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at $26.99. And with Steinhoffels special financing and free delivery, you can't make a mistake. Isn't it time you got a good night? Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. Energy is everywhere, even in a little seedling, which, when turned into fuel, can help power a plane. At Chevron's El Segundo Refinery, we're looking to turn plant-based oil into renewable gasoline, jet, and diesel fuels. Our planet offers countless sources of energy, but it's only human to find the ones that could power a better future. Rebecca Clayfish, and your choice for governor is clear. I'm the Tea Party mom who took on the Madison establishment and won. Tim Michaels is a Madison insider who's enriched himself with your tax dollars. I stood with Scott Walker to cut your taxes. Tim Michaels sided with the union bosses and pushed to raise our gas tax to make himself richer. Tim Michaels is out for himself. I'm Rebecca Clayfish. As governor, I'll always fight for you. Outlets at the Dells in the center of Water Park Heaven with 60 of the world's biggest brands. We thrill the trendsetters and all who love a smoke and hot discount. Get the first day look they want and save up to 70% off everything for back to school. Visit outletsatthedells.com for coupon and details. 
Well, we're continuing our back to school fundraiser in partnership with the Boys and Girls Club. And if you don't have time to go shopping for supplies and drop them off, you have another option to give back. McKenna Alexander explains what they'll spend the money on. Besides the items needed by the Boys and Girls Club, monetary donations help them give students flexibility when it comes to purchasing what they need for the school year. And that's through the form of gift cards. So that's especially the case for college students when it comes to buying specific textbooks for a class or something special for their dorm room. Now these students have been with the Boys and Girls Club for at least several years. So organizers say the support they provide really means a lot for students that have now graduated and are on their way to college. They have been, you know, Boys and Girls Clubs members at least through their high school experience and now through their college experience. They know that we're um, an area of support for them and so they really count on us to help them succeed through college. And so when we can provide the supplies for them, it really helps them out. If you don't want to donate money, you can also drop items off at several locations or through the Boys and Girls Club Amazon wish list, meaning you really can donate from anywhere, anytime. So for a full list of donation drop-off locations, as well as what types of donations are needed, you can visit our website at channel3000.com. For News 3 Now, I'm McKenna Alexander. And if you'd rather drop off physical supplies, you have the rest of the week to do so. Here's a short list of drop-off locations on your screen right now. And we have a full list of locations along with the items the Boys and Girls Club is asking for at channel3000.com. Rising oil prices are another effect of Russia's war on Ukraine. With increased pressure on other countries to pump more oil, OPEC Plus is making some moves towards doing that, announcing today it will increase oil production slightly from September. The announcement follows the group's first meeting since President Joe Biden visits, visited Saudi Arabia last month. Right now, U.S. oil prices are off the highs of a few months ago over fears of a possible global recession. Equifax says it has fixed a coding issue that prompted the credit rating agency to send incorrect credit scores for people applying for home and auto loans. Equifax admits inaccurate data was sent out during a three-week period earlier this year, and those false credit scores resulted in some people getting higher interest rates and others simply being denied. Officials at Equifax say the coding issue that caused the problem is now resolved. Equifax handles credit information for more than 200 million consumers in the United States. In 2017, Equifax was hacked, resulting in the leak of sensitive data for close to 150 million Americans. Well, months after cutting 9% of its workforce, Robinhood is cutting deeper with plans to lay off another 23% of its staff. The latest cuts will affect 780 employees and continues a massive freefall for the online brokerage. Robinhood CEO says decades high inflation and a cryptocurrency crash reduced the company's customer trading activity. The company reported a 44% revenue drop from the same quarter a year ago and a 34% decrease in active users in June. A good day on Wall Street. The Dow up 416 and change. The Nasdaq gained more than 319 or two and a half percent. The S&P 500 rose 63. Well, Nina Kamek has been tracking the developments in the Ukraine close this year. The threat of a Soviet invasion of a neighboring country hits close to home for the now retired UW Law School professor. And she wrote a book about her early years in Poland and her eventual journey to New York. The memoir is called Like a Swallow, You're Looking good. Back at a Polish Childhood. Nina, thanks for being with us today on Live at Four. Hi, Nina. Great to see you. Oh, thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Well, let's talk about this book. This is a real labor of love for you. And uh, tell us about your how, when you came to the United States, a little bit about your background. It's complicated. <laughs> um, I grew up in Poland. I was born in Poland, and I spent my childhood there. But um, out of the blue, my father was appointed to work for the United Nations. And so we spent a number of years, a handful of years in New York as a Polish family living in New York in the 60s. After that, we moved back to Poland. I finished high school there. I went to the university there. So I've been back and forth between the two countries pretty much all my life. Um, the book covers the first 18 years of my life, which of course include uh, chapters about living in New York as a Pole from a communist country and also includes chapters, many chapters, about what life was like in post-war Poland. I was born in 1953. We were freshly after World War II and of course we were under so-called communist rule with the very watchful Soviet Union to the east of us. 
course, the situation now in uh, the Ukraine is somewhat different, and Russia has done a lot to um, to ruin the lives of many people in the Ukraine, but I'm very familiar with what it's like to even live with the threat of an invasion from a country that seeks to monitor um, the life of those living in a neighboring country and wanting very much to exercise control over the lives of those people. But so the a, book is all about that period. What, what a fascinating story and so timely, as mm -hmm. you say, just taken right out of today's headlines. What, does, what does the title mean, Like a Swallow? That's interesting. Um, I, I talk about that. There are many reasons for it, but um, one that is particularly important to me is that when I returned to Warsaw after living in New York, uh, a lot of the kids, my high school friends, wanted to know all about life in America. This was an ongoing theme for me, and a lot of the times they would ask me to sing American songs. Uh, and I used to take out the guitar and play music at, around the campfire. This is a very typical Polish thing. Um, and one song that always was very popular was uh, Donna Donna, which maybe you don't know it, uh, but it's, um, it's, a, it's a folklore. It's really actually not American, but I thought it was. Uh -huh. And it had the lyrics in it that really struck a note for me. I'm just going to tell you two little lines from the song towards the end of the song where um, we sing, cows are easily bound and slaughtered, never knowing the reason why, but whoever treasures freedom like a swallow has learned to fly. And um, like a swallow becomes a theme for me in the book uh, that I, I hope the reader would recognize why I chose those particular words. Um, <clears throat> it is also true that there are a lot of swallows in Poland. There are a lot of swallows outside here in <laughs> Pittsburgh where I live right now too. Well, Nina, thank you so much. I wish we had more time oh, to talk so about do it. I. There's it's so such much a fascinating story. And there's so story. much ground to cover. I think I out-researched this a little bit too much. <laughs> but, but Nina, best of luck with the book. She's Polish-born, grew up in New York, but she's Wisconsin for the last, uh, since the 80s. She was yeah. an 87 uh, law school Nina, grad. Nina, is, so. is, is the book available wherever books are sold? Can people find it? Wherever books are sold, and also increasingly in our local public libraries, too. But you can get it online. You can get it at our local bookstores. It's there. Well, Thank congratulations. You very much for Congrats, Thank you. Nina. Thank you yeah, so we'll much for your time. We'll look forward to having you back when Absolutely. we have more time. Absolutely. Great to see you. Thanks. Well, next, one of the greatest broadcasters in the history of sports passed away yesterday. Up next on Live at Four, we remember Vin Scully, the voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers that lasted some people's entire lives. A night of great music is coming your way with Colt Ford. August 14th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your grown-up getaway. In a recent clinical study, patients using Salon Pass patch reported reductions in pain severity, using less or a lot less oral pain medicines, and improved quality of life. That's why we recommend Salon Pass. It's good medicine. He sent me to... Protecting your home starts at the top. If your shingles are torn, cracked, and flying off in the wind, it can cause leaks that lead to costly repairs. So make the switch to Erie Metal Roofing. Get one-day installation on the last roof you'll ever need. And there's no shortage in our supply chain, so we can turn your job around quickly. Erie is A-plus rated with the BBB, more than 2,000 excellent reviews online. And now take advantage of this special offer. Call 1-800-966-4500 during this program and receive a 60-inch HDTV with your purchase of an Erie metal roofing system. We've helped thousands of homeowners afford a new metal roof. Call today for an estimate as soon as tomorrow. And don't miss this opportunity. Receive a 60-inch HDTV with your metal roofing system purchase from Erie Metal Roofing. Call 1-800-966-4500. That's 1-800-966-4500. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. 
and he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. At USAA, we've been called too exclusive because we only serve those who honorably serve. All ranks, all branches, and their eligible family members. Yep, that is exclusive, and we're fine with that. At Pick and Save, we believe local produce shouldn't be hard to find. That's why we work with local farms right in our own backyard to bring you fresher than fresh produce. You got everything I need. You like medicine to me. Oh, baby, yeah. Because shopping for local produce should be as easy as shopping at your local pick and save. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. A night of great music is coming your way with Cold Ford. And the Lax. August 14th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Your grown-up getaway. Well, take a look at this. A massive, almost perfectly round sinkhole suddenly appeared in Chile, and it's prompted deep investigations by local authorities. This huge hole is 82 feet in diameter and is reported to be more than 650 feet deep. Do you like the, the music? Yeah, did you pick that music for this or what? <laughs> the as yet unexplained phenomenon occurred <laughs> on land owned by a Canadian mining company. Well, maybe that explains it. North of the country's capital of Santiago, the company reported no injuries, thank, uh, thankfully, to any mining workers or residents and closed off the area. Geologists swarmed in from around the world to try to figure out what caused that company was like, yeah, we kind of made a hole. Just be careful where you step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. 650 feet deep. Yeah, you're not climbing out of that. Julian's one. back. Boy, the, the rain kind of soaked us out All of the uh, concert on the square tonight, yeah. and uh, hopefully tomorrow. Yeah, well, hopefully tomorrow. We get it going. I mean, <laughs> yes, not, exactly. not, a, not that it'll rain us. We're going to be looking for a return for tomorrow as sunshine will be in our forecast and some calmer weather before we head into the weekend. Because folks, things are going to be heating right back up. So we'll talk more about that. In the first one forecast coming up after the break. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. When severe weather rolls in, you need a roof that will keep your family safe and dry. That's where Erie Metal Roofing can help. Get a lifetime of protection that won't warp, crack or rot. The Erie Metal Roofing System is durable and stands up to heavy rain, hail, high wind, even fire. And we can install in as little as one day. Well, I've dealt with a lot of roofers. I mean, this is probably one of 15 houses I've built over my lifetime. And uh, it's definitely the, the best company I've ever worked with. Get the last roof you'll ever need. You'll be surprised how affordable metal roofing is. Plus, now, with your Erie Metal Roofing System purchase, you'll receive a 60-inch HDTV at no additional charge. Stay up to date on the latest weather or your favorite shows. Just be sure you call during this program for this special offer. That's a 60-inch HDTV with your purchase of the Erie Metal Roofing System. Call 1-800-966-4500. That's 1-800-966-4500. I'm Tim Michaels. The radical left, they're destroying everything we love about America. And too many establishment Republicans, they're along for the ride. Tim Michaels, Army veteran, endorsed by President Trump. I'm not some career politician. I'm a self-made Wisconsin businessman who doesn't give a rip about the special interests or their money. I'm Tim Michaels. I'm running for governor to turn Madison upside down and take back the freedoms that make Wisconsin great. Tim Michaels for governor, endorsed by President Trump. I occasionally get bladder leaks. I tried always discreet underwear. It absorbs an entire glass of water. It fit like a glove. It just felt like real underwear. Game changer. <laughs> It's the protection we deserve. Sweet pillows of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. New Charmin Ultra Soft is now even softer, so you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. 
3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, the rain has cleared at least for now as we're getting in the rest of our evening here outside of Madison. We are now looking at plenty of blue skies, sunshine and just some a couple of clouds lingering. But overall, it's going to be rather quiet for the most part by the time we get into the rest of this evening. A couple of isolated showers could pop up. We do have the ingredients for it, but overall, we're going to stay rather dry, but could warm up again back into the low 80s by the time we get into the rest of our evening. Thanks to the southwesterly flow that we're going to be seeing and on top of with plenty more sunshine that's going to be sticking around for us. But by tonight, things are still going to remain quiet, and that's going to be the theme for the next couple of days until we get into our weekend. Dew points right now, however, it's swimmable weather, folks. 73 degree dew points in Madison. If you're heading outside, it is really, really muggy. Even for Platteville, which is at 80 degree dew points as of right now, it's quite disgusting for us as we're getting in throughout the rest of this evening. Now, taking a look at what we're seeing on our surface map, the cold front that swept through, try to bring things just a bit bit cooler in terms of on the surface, but still had also brought in those storms that we were dealing with all early afternoon long. But now we are looking for just a couple of developments of some showers or storms. But overall, we are looking at things to be rather quiet for us. The flood advisory had cleared up that was in for Dodge County. And now we're looking for as of right now, just monitoring the showers and storms that are just into Crawford County as of right now. But outside of that, Everywhere else is pretty dry. Lots of open sky for us as well. So we're getting things rolling for the rest of our evening. So outside of just seeing a couple of showers potentially starting to develop later into this evening, things are going to stay pretty quiet and we are going to cool down pretty nicely going into tonight as well. Transitioning into our Thursday mornings, so we're waking up. Temperatures will be in the 60s. Plenty of open sky. So a beautiful sunrise is going to be in the forecast for us. And as we get into lunchtime, Temperatures will be into the upper 70s, so not too bad. Actually, pretty quiet. And then we'll be into the lower 80s by the time we get into our Thursday evening. So as we go into our Constance on the Square, which will be rescheduled for tomorrow evening, well, it's going to shape up to be a beautiful one once again. Then as we go into Thursday nights, quiet conditions will remain. But we do have an alert day in effect for Saturday, folks. High heat and humidity is going to be expected as we roll into our Saturday afternoon. High temperatures into the lower 90s, but heat indices will be pushing from 95 to around 100 degrees for at least Madison. Some areas could be even hotter as well. So make sure that you're staying weather aware as you head into the weekend. All of southern Wisconsin is going to be under this alert day for us and for that heat advisory or excuse me, not the heat advisory, the heat index that are going to be pushing into the triple digits, especially areas just to the west and to the far northwest as well near La Crosse areas stretching into the look uh, Platteville and for us in Janesville, we're going to be into those upper 90s as well. Cooling down as we head into Sunday, but until then, folks, just know we're going to be looking at temperatures to really skyrocket heading into the weekend. Uh, then once we go into Sunday, we do have potential for starting to see some storms starting to fire off late Sunday night into our Sunday and again going into our Monday morning as well. That's going to be our best opportunity to start to see a bit more precipitation and even potentially some more storms. But outside of that, it's going to be quiet for the next couple of days and much of next week will be more or less the same. That weekend's looking hot though. The 92 on Saturday and the awesome. humidity were kind of feeling today. I'm sweating already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Swimmable, he uses that it term. Is, it is like word. cutting through the, the air out there. Julian, thank you. Thank you, Julian. Well, the sports world has lost a man who provided the details for decades worth of legendary moments. Broadcaster Vin Scully has died at the age of 94. From Bill Buckner's blunder in the 1986 World Series to Hank Aaron's then record-setting home run in Atlanta, Scully was in the booth, basically becoming synonymous to the events taking place on the field. Andy Scholes has this remembrance. Hi, everybody, and a very pleasant Thursday evening to you, wherever you may be. The Vin Scully, the, the revered face of the Dodgers, of worthy of a yearbook <laughs> cover. Flip inside and see the schoolboy who always wanted to become a sportscaster. Uh, we had a big old radio on four legs, and I would crawl underneath the radio so that the speaker was directly over my face. And I would be listening to a game that meant absolutely nothing to me, Alabama, Mississippi. But what intrigued me and thrilled me was the roar of the crowd. The captivated youngster went on to play center field at Fordham University, graduating with a degree in radio. Scully broke in as an announcer with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1950, as the yearbook shows. 
mentored by legends Connie Desmond and especially Red Barber. Uh, he was indeed another father, and eventually, oh, many, many years later, he wrote in a column that uh, maybe I was the son that he had never had. Maybe the red hair had something to do with it, but we were that close. Scully would make any father proud, honored by the Baseball Hall of Fame, lauded by critics, including the author of Voices of the Game. I think anyone who really has studied baseball broadcasting or indeed uh, heard Vin Scully uh, would agree that Scully is the Roy Hobbs of baseball broadcasting, the best there ever was. He has converted more casual fans into hardened fans and more non-baseball fans into baseball fanatics than virtually any broadcaster that I can think of. What words can describe Never Scully's words? Never got Lyrical, poetic, master storyteller. That 75 club, which bowed finally to the big red machine. But Scully thinks he made his mark with silence by not over-announcing the moment. She is gone! When Kirk Gibson hit the dramatic home run to beat the Oakland A's in the 1988 World Series, Scully didn't say a word for more than a minute. Then... In a year that has been so the impossible has happened. Scully called the New York Mets comeback against the Red Sox in the 1986 World Series. First, behind the bag, it gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight, and the Mets win it. He also delved into football, calling the catch Montana to Clark and the 49ers' famous playoff win over the Cowboys. Throwing in the end zone. Clark it. Scully's popularity often exceeded the players. Late in his career, he served as Grand Marshal of the Rose Parade and Bowl Game. In 2016, he signed off for the last time as a regular broadcaster after 67 seasons calling Dodgers games. Weeks before hanging up his mic, Scully riveted a crowd at the Reagan Library. If I have a trademark, it would be to call the play as quickly and as accurately as I possibly can and then shut up and listen to the roar of the crowd. And even to this day, when that crowd roars, I'm that little eight-year-old kid curled underneath the radio back in New York City listening to Alabama, Tennessee. Vin Scully, the best there ever was. Stan Kasten, the president and CEO of the Los Angeles Dodgers, issued a statement saying, quote, we have lost an icon. That is a legend right there. No what doubt about voice. it. Yeah. No doubt about it. Coming up next on Live at 4, Changing Gears, Katy Perry tossing pizza in a club. You want to see how this went. And then coming up next hour at 5, today was the first day of online enrollment with the Madison School District. But there are a lot of students who still don't know who their teachers will be this year. Our Catherine Merck tells us more at 5. Don't miss A1 Furniture's warehouse clearance sale with savings up to 40% off, plus instant cashback and free financing. Two-piece living room sets from $7.99, sectionals $9.99, queen mattress just $2.99, only at A1 Furniture and Mattress. If your roof is 10 years old or older and the shingles are deteriorating and leaking, it's not your fault, it's the asphalt. Immediate relief is available with one call to Erie Metal Roofing. Get a lifetime of protection against wind, rain, hail, and heat with the most energy-efficient roofing system we've ever offered. And it may qualify you for a discount on your homeowner's insurance. Beautiful, insulated, stone-coated metal roofing backed with a lifetime warranty. See the before and after difference. Be sure you ask about our one-day installation. Get the last roof you'll ever need. And time's running out to call and receive a 60-inch HDTV with your purchase of an Erie Metal Roofing System. Visit online at eriemetalroofs.com. And remember, it's your last chance to call during this program for the 60-inch HDTV with your metal roofing system purchase from Erie. Call 1-800-966-4500. That's 1-800-966-4500. Mom, Abel's looking for you. Oh, all right. As parents, we know that all Wisconsin kids should grow up in a healthy, safe world. As a women's health doctor, I know that access to abortion services is fundamental to personal and economic success. I'm going to fight for financial security so Wisconsin families can succeed and even dream. I'm Jillian Bettino, a mother, a doctor, a fighter, and I'm running for Wisconsin State Treasurer. 
Outlets at the Dells, an attraction not to be missed. With over 60 of the world's biggest brands, we thrill family vacationers, trendsetters, and all who love a smoking hot discount. We are all about the thrill of the deal, the joy of finding the thing you forgot to pack, the backpack that the kids really, really want, the sneakers that make PE class the most awesome, and the discounts that no one else can touch. Get the first day look they want and save up to 70% off everything for back to school. Visit Outlets at the Dells.com for coupon and details. Back to school means big savings at A1 Furniture. Mattresses for $149, sofas $399, flip-flops $299, dressers $149. Up to 40% off store-wide plus instant cash back. The Back to School Savings Event, only at A1 Furniture. New at 5, Wisconsin's race for governor, one of the most hotly contested elections in the nation. We look into the candidates and their national supporters. Showers and thunderstorms will end this evening. We'll see sunny, warm, and dry weather for Thursday and Friday. But an alert day has been added to the forecast for heat and humidity for Saturday. I'll tell you how hot it'll get at 5. Then at 6, Madison has been chosen for a national program tasked at creating collaboration between the health care and justice systems. We investigate how this will help high-risk residents tonight at 6. There's a live look at Los Angeles. 84 degrees out in Southern California. A little Beautiful gridlock grass. on the freeway. It just, wouldn't be a, it just wouldn't be any day in Los Angeles <laughs> without a little traffic. Well, the star of a new viral video was actually a big star long before the video was shot. We're talking about Katy Perry. Now, in the video, the pop singer famous for hits like Bon Appetit is clearly saying, let them eat pizza. CNN's Jeannie Most reports. Katy Perry has dressed as an ice cream cone cake and a hamburger paired with Taylor Swift as fries. Now she's added pizza throwing to her menu, flinging slices direct from the box. It happened at a Las Vegas nightclub where Katy made a surprise appearance. It looked like she was going to eat the pizza, but someone next to us had yelled, hey! We want pizza. They got it, slice after slice. Amanda Kurth shot this video. Did any pizza land near you? Oh, yeah. I don't think anyone caught a piece. I don't know how well she is at the pizza throwing, but there was quite a few on the ground. At one point, she was two-handing it. Perry pizza hysteria swept the internet. Katy Perry, throw a pizza at me. Someone with tickets to an upcoming concert threatened, if she doesn't throw pizza at us, I'm asking for a refund. There was a couple guys trying to catch it in their mouth. I wasn't going to do that. Katy herself reposted another version of the video saying, a mother feeding her children. Someone was reminded of the time President Trump started tossing out paper towels after a hurricane hit Puerto Rico. The nightclub probably needed some paper towels. After Katie was done, in her role as the new advertising face of a food delivery service, Perry has sung about pizza. But when it comes to heaving it, she may not be quite as good as the star of Breaking Bad. It's not easy to stick a pizza. But in a twist to the Dean Martin classic, When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's When Katy Perry hits your eye with a big pizza pie, Genie Mouse, CNN, New York. Those are huge pieces of pizza. She's Eric throwing. is re against wasteful pizza. Yeah, do not waste pizza. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Coming up next, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company joins us to take your call. If you have a question for Lisa, call now. There she is at the Bruce Company. Hi, Lisa. The number is 608 270 9933. We'll take your calls when Live at Four continues. Call now. Whether you have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom. Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg.
Of course, you know the Agrace name. They care every step of the way, and there's a new program right here at Agrace's Adult Day Center. Marcia, tell us a little bit about this program and, and why the need for it. So we were seeing on a regular basis that there were people in our community who, um, especially after COVID, were isolated, definitely seniors that were feeling like they just didn't have the social outlet that they wanted to have. And so we spent about a year and a half or two years really digging deep and doing our research to see if there was a local need here because we didn't want to duplicate efforts and we found that there was. So about a year ago we opened up the Grace Adult Day Center and um, it's been a wonderful opportunity to serve people who are in need not only of the social uh, ability but also it gives the caregiver um, a break to get out and do some things and take care of themselves. Can you want to tell us a little bit about a Grace's Adult Day Center and what takes place right here? Yeah, so a Grace Adult Day Center is for people who have some cognitive issues, um, dementia, Alzheimer's specifically. Um, so we offer activities here. Um, so like right now they're playing golf um, and then we also have like beanbag tossing, they play basketball, air hockey, different things like that here that we have at the day center. And then we also have meals. Um, so we have, we serve breakfast, lunch, and a snack. And then we have physical exercises, more like chair yoga that they, we can do in the morning and in the afternoon. Um, time for relaxation here as well. Um, we have caregivers to help on staff with activities of daily living. And um, we can also pass meds here and we give showers. Come and see how a Grace is caring every step of the way right here at the Adult Day Center. I'm Emmy Fink and you're buzzed into Madison. I'm heading back to yoga. It was so relaxed. Rebecca Clayfish. She's the ultimate Madison insider. Clayfish went to China to sell out Wisconsin workers. Back home, Clayfish took big money from lobbyists and then went to work for one, working for special interests backing amnesty for illegal immigrants. Pro-China, pro-amnesty. No wonder Clayfish refused to support Donald Trump. Rebecca Clayfish, the pro-China, pro-amnesty, anti-Trump politician. She's the ultimate Madison insider. Lisa Briggs is at the Bruce Company uh, Greenhouses today to take your plant questions. We have two lines open if you have a question for Lisa, 608-270-9933. How you doing, Lisa? I'm good. How are you guys? We're great. Doing all right. Good to see you. And the phones are jammed as always, so let's get let's right, get right to, to it. We're going to start with okay. Julie in Middleton. Hi, Julie. Hey, hi. Hey, hi, Lisa. Listen, I had a couple of service berry bushes put in two years ago. One doing good, one has been stressed kind of the whole time. I babied it, babied it, babied it. It is still stressed, and I don't know what else I can do for it. Can you help me out? Well, depending on the stress, what, were they big or like smaller ones in containers when you planted them? Or were they larger they were, specimens? They were, they were larger, um, and okay. I watered them appropriately. I've continued. Okay. I know it's been stressful the last two years. I it watered has. them appro appropriately and not too much. Okay. Well, you might want to, since they've been in for two years, you might want to do some fertilizer, something that is more where the first number, the nitrogen number, is lower than the other numbers so that you get a little bit of extra root development. Continue to water good soak once a week until the ground freezes. If you haven't mulched them or if the mulch layer is getting a little thin, you might want to apply a little extra mulch. That will help keep the moisture in. But when we have heat like this and plants aren't fully established, they just get stressed out by the heat. Leaves turn yellow and drop from the center of the plant. It shouldn't be a long-term pro problem, but I would definitely do what you can to get it established. All right. A little fertilizer and continue the watering. Julie, I appreciate the phone call. Let's go to uh, Danny in Madison. He might have some similar issues here. Danny, go ahead. You're on with uh, Lisa. Yes, uh, I have a flowering crab tree in my yard. It's probably 30 years old. Uh, the leaves were have fallen off pretty early. It did bloom this year as far as uh, the pink flowers and everything, and it did the same thing last year. But it seems to be, I don't know, maybe it's dying. The branches are kind of brittle. 
It sounds like you might have a little bit of a fungal problem called apple scab. And so the leaves will get black spots on them and then turn yellow or kind of an orangey yellow and fall off. Older crab apple varieties are super susceptible to it, so there are a couple things you can do. First of all, make sure that this fall that you rake up all of those uh, affected leaves out of there and get them out of your yard. Dispose of them, don't compost them. And then this winter, you might wanna try to thin out the canopy a little bit. Take out those branches that are dead and anything that's crossing or rubbing against one another, and then just thin it out a little bit. Apple scab and most fungal diseases are exacerbated by heat, wet, and slow air movement. So if you can get some of the branches out of there and increase the airflow, you might have a little better luck. You can also do a preemptive treatment for uh, fungal diseases next spring after the flowers are done is when you want to apply the fungicide. Yeah, those crab trees are pretty hardy. They can yeah. handle a lot. Let's yeah. go to Judy. Yeah. Judy is in Madison. Judy, you're on with Lisa. Go ahead. Oh, Lisa, um, I have two endless summer hydrangeas, which are established about four years old. They are about four inches in diameter, four inches tall. They are lush and green, but they are flowering very, very little. Can you tell me what's wrong? Sure. Uh, first of all, endless summer hydrangeas, even though they're a type of hydrangea that we like to see in a shadier location, morning sun, they're going to need a good solid three or four hours of sun to produce flowers buds. The endless summer, which was the first one in this series of hydrangeas that will bloom on old and new wood, as are slower to flower than some of the newer varieties. So what I would do this fall is after the leaves fall off, put a little mulch on the crowns of the plants, maybe, oh, 10 or 12 inches deep. And then that will protect some of the flower buds that have been established on the old wood. And then you'll get better flowering next year. All right. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time already. The time yeah. goes by so fast. It does. A lot of questions. Hopefully, long uh, questions today. Yeah. Hopefully, the rain will help a lot of those questions get answered today. <laughs> yes. It, I'm has, been dry. it Thank, has been dry. Thanks for your calls, everybody. And Lisa, great to see you. We'll do this again very soon. Yep. Okay. We'll be right back. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation, and he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Nicorette knows quitting smoking is freaking hard. You get advice like, try hypnosis, or quit cold turkey. Kidding me? Instead, start small with Nicorette, which can lead to something big. Start stopping with Nicorette. I'm Rebecca Clayfish, and your choice for governor is clear. I'm the Tea Party mom who took on the Madison establishment and won. And Michaels is a Madison insider who's enriched himself with your tax dollars. I stood with Scott Walker to cut your taxes. Tim Michaels sided with the union bosses and pushed to raise our gas tax to make himself richer. Tim Michaels is out for himself. I'm Rebecca Clayfish. As governor, I'll always fight for you. Shop local for quality made in the USA products at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Browse a wide variety of sofas and hardwood home furnishings from brands you can trust, like Smith Brothers, Simply Amish, and Flex Steel. Every style, every budget. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. A former Badger receives world recognition at the World Championship Track and Field event. We showcase his impressive career since his days at UW-Madison. Then dual presidential endorsements are extended to Republican gubernatorial candidates. Will Keneally breaks down the campaigns and their supporters for you tonight at 5. Wisconsin is now one of the nation's most important political battlegrounds. The August primaries and November midterms could set a new course for our state and our country. News 3 Now brings you a look at the key races and issues in campaign 2022 Battleground Wisconsin. Monday at 7 p.m. 
And taking a look, we do have an alert day in the forecast. This is going to be for our Saturday afternoons. We're anticipating for temperatures to reach into the lower 90s, but humidity is going to be high as well, which will push our heat index from 95 to mm. the lower triple digits. All of southern Wisconsin is going to be into that alert day for us. And here's our three things we'll need to know. And meteorologist Gary Canolte will be walking through what else is going to be coming up at 5. Back oh, to you guys. All right, Julian. Thank you. Here's what's coming up tomorrow on Live at 4. Second time's the charm. We'll try again. Down Town for concerts on the square as they present finale with Foley. And Carrie Donahue from Full Circle Pet Hospice joins us to answer your pet questions. At TSR, we transform your old, beat up concrete into a beautiful, durable surface in one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings. We specialize in garages patios, pool decks, basements, and more. We don't just coat over your old concrete. We start by grinding it down, then we apply the base coat and chip and seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. Our coatings are beautiful, durable, ridiculously easy to clean, and are backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. Our in-house team is ready to answer any questions that you have before and after the install. And right now on all projects, we're offering 15% off. Call the number shown below or visit our website for your new floor today. I love this state. Knock on any door in any county, and you'll find good-hearted, hard-working folks. People whose businesses are proudly helped as Lieutenant Governor. Hard work needs to be respected again, with fair wages and opportunities to get ahead. That's how my parents opened doors for me. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I'm not one of these millionaires. I work just as hard for you as you work for your family. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about breast tree. Breast tree gives me better breathing and helps prevent flare-ups. Before breast tree, I was stuck in the past. I still had bad days. <coughs> flare-ups, which kept me from doing what I love. My doctor said for my COPD, it was time for breast tree. Breast tree gives you better breathing, symptom improvement, and helps prevent flare-ups. Like no other COPD medicine, Breast Tree was proven to reduce flare-ups by 52%. Breast Tree won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. It is not for asthma. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Don't take Breast Tree more than prescribed. Breast Tree may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. Can't afford your medication? AstraZeneca may be able to help. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about Breast Tree. In today's final touch, a buried treasure is recovered after centuries underwater. Explorers have found numerous artifacts from the Nuestra Señora de las Maravillas, which translates to Our Lady of Wonders. How's my Spanish? Well there? done. Pretty good, huh? Took no years of Spanish in high school. <laughs> the nearly 900-ton Spanish galleon sunk after it collided into one of its the boats from its fleet, crashed into a coral reef. This was near the Bahamas. The Our Lady of Wonders had been carrying a lot of cargo when it went under. Millions of items have been recovered from the 16 1950s through the 1990s. Now, this recent discovery includes coins, jewels, and gemstones that previously belonged to knights who fared the sea. These items will be displayed later this month at the new Bahamas Maritime Museum. Uh, researchers also say they'll work with experts to try to figure out how the ship met its fate. Still lots of sunken treasures yeah, out there. Very cool. In the Atlantic from all those years. Thanks, your, thanks for your help today. No problem. Stick around. News Street Now at 5 is up next. Stay with us.